Welcome biologists, this session where we're going to be taking a look at the structure of a kidney. Um, there are functions that we need to know about which are listed here at the bottom, but we're not going to manage to get onto that in this video, I'll do them in separate videos. For this one we're just going to look at the structure of the actual kidney. So the kidneys can be found underneath the rib cage at the back of the body and they're important for filtering out substances from the blood that we don't want, waste products from the blood. If you did cut a kidney in half, this is what you should see. So in an exam, um, the capsule in an exam isn't usually on there. So I would make sure that you've labelled primarily the cortex and the medulla first of all. And if there is another label on the outside, then put the capsule, but it's not always on your exam. Um, you also have a, a, a paler bit towards the inside, it's a bit white, um, which is the pelvis. I'll show you a picture in a minute of an actual kidney cut open. So if you are a bit squeamish, it might be best to look away for that. And we also have a, a blood supply going into the kidney. The renal artery supplies the, the kidney with oxygenated blood, whereas the renal vein takes deoxygenated blood away from the kidney. We also have the ure ureter, which is the is where the urine that is collected and well extracted from the blood is sent to the bladder and then the bladder um, takes it to the outside world in the urethra. So that is the structure that we need to know about. Um, we have within our kidneys loads and loads and loads of nephrons and nephrons um, as you can see here appear in this kind of shape. We're going to look at them in a lot more detail and this is where all those different functions occur that we need to know about, which we will talk about as we go through. So there are thousands of these little nephrons present. Now, when you are dissecting a kidney, it's important that we um, laterally bisect the kidney. I've not really seen an exam question on this before, um, but those are the kind of things that you'd be looking for if you did do your dissection of a kidney. Now, here's what to look out for if you actually do do it. So we have here... As you can see, the cortex, you can't really see very well uh, from this image. Um, but what you can see is the cortex, which is this part here, the medulla, which is slightly darker in colour, and then the pelvis, which is even paler in colour. Uh, then we can see tiny sections of the ureter, which has actually been cut off in this particular image. So the cortex is lighter than the medulla, which can appear darker in darker red sometimes, and then the pelvis. Now, you may also be asked to identify parts of the kidney or nephron from a microscope image. Now, it's really important that you note in the exam where that slide is taken from. So normally in the exam, it will say, here is a slide that's taken from the cortex of a kidney or the medulla from the kidney. So if you if the slide is taken from the cortex of the medulla, the cortex of the kidney, it means that you'll probably see within there the glomerulus, which is the network of capillaries, and the Bowman's capsule that surrounds it. And that is what you can see here in this image. This paler area here towards the outside is the Bowman's capsule and you can see within there a network of capillaries. You can tell that capillaries because you can see some red blood cells, not very many, but some. These pinker bits that surround in my glomerulus could either be my proximal convoluted tubule or my distal convoluted tubule. Um, so it is well worth noting those different parts. Here is another image um, showing you what the different areas are. So it's a bit clearer on here. You can clearly see that white area of the Bowman's capsule, the glomerulus, inside the network of capillaries and then surrounding it you can see the distal convoluted tubule or the proximal convoluted tubule. You can't tell the difference between those two convoluted tubules so you get a mark for either of those. However if this slide was taken from the medulla you would you would be able to identify either only the loop of Henle and the collecting duct which again you can't really tell the difference between so you're more than likely to get a slide from a microscope taken from the cortex and asked to identify the Bowman's capsule. So guys, that, um, that's what we're looking at in today's video, the structure of the kidney and the different microscope images you might be asked to identify from. In the next couple of videos that follow, follow, we'll have a look at these different processes involved here that occur within the kidney. Guys, good luck with your exams. Remember to use keywords to describe as much detail as possible what you're trying to explain. Good luck.